Hey guys, welcome to day three of Vlogtober. Today, right now, it's maybe like four o'clock. I know we've been getting a late start on all of our days. But today we're gonna be having lunch with my little brother Jacob, my mom, I think my other brother's gonna be there. We're basically just celebrating his birthday cause I don't know what it is about this year, but all of the birthdays are during the week. So a lot of the celebrations are happening on the weekend cause obviously we just have more time. We just finished getting ready. Violet's here, she's gonna be going to dance right now. And then after dance, we're gonna be going to Cheddar's. So I'm on the road right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now and I'll see you soon. Violet is at dance now and I am just waiting for her to get out. I think, I don't know. It was actually really sunny yesterday and it got dark and cloudy again. I mean, it's not flooded anymore. Although there's still remnants of the water and everything. I just came and parked by the library. I should have brought my book. I forgot to bring it. Now I'm reading this book. It's called The Rape of Europa. And it's basically about how the Nazi occupation had an effect on the art world. And right now I just kind of started it. But they're basically talking about how a bunch of different gallery keepers and museum curators, how they started to stash away the art and they started to put into hiding or give it to other museum curators um, in different galleries and stuff. They would give them cross country lines that way they could keep them safe. There was even one who was a little emotional. I think it was an Italian museum curator that he was watching his, his artworks or his collection go and he was like, you know, this is the last time I'm gonna see it. And sure enough, he ended up passing away before the end of the Nazi occupation. But yeah, it's pretty interesting and I'm learning a lot from it. I know that Hitler was interested in the arts prior to what he's more well known for at the moment but yeah I probably should have brought that so I could bring it with me but I didn't so yeah I'm just parked here I'm probably just gonna watch like YouTube or something or I don't really want to drive around because we're going to go to Cheddar's and I don't even know what I'm gonna get yet but I am pretty hungry already but yeah we're gonna go eat at Cheddar's and we're gonna celebrate his birthday I don't know if we're gonna like sing to him or anything because we already did that we did that via FaceTime. We kind of have like a little tradition going on ever since the pandemic started where we call each other and this is just like our siblings and stuff. Like my sister, uh, my oldest sister is actually one who arranged that, but we'll FaceTime with all the siblings and my mom. Sometimes my nieces and my nephew will join in as well. And we'll sing to each other over FaceTime. They did it for me and you'll see that in another vlog soon. And they did it for Jacob. I am just waiting around and this is the first time I've gotten like dressed up in a while. <laughs> uh, there hasn't really been a lot to celebrate but I curled my hair too. I really want to figure out how to do it. I have always liked the look of curly hair. I really like not curly hair but like I mean I like curly hair too but of curled hair like styled curled hair. I've always liked it but I feel like I struggle with it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I'm trying it out and I don't even know how long it'll last. They put some hairspray in but because of the weather I'm a little concerned that they're just gonna fall out or it's gonna start raining and it's gonna mess it up anyway but yeah. I also have this necklace that I really like I just haven't worn because it has it has this little loop and so I just kind of like pass it through a couple of times to kind of knot it but I really like it and I think it's really cute I got it for sh from Shein I think it was like a dollar or two and I do have some other necklaces but they did start to like rust as maybe it's partly my fault because I had them on the counter and it was kind of wet but they did start to rust so they're not like the best quality but they're really cute if you want to just put something like really cute together really quick. I'll show you what we're having for dinner and inside the restaurant. I know Violet really likes it because they have the fish and everything. So I will see you soon whenever Violet gets out of dance. It's about 4.30 right now and we're gonna be having lunch around 5.30 or 6. So I might go to my mom's if it is closer to 6. Um, and if not, then I'll probably just head straight to the restaurant. But I will see you then and bye for now. We had a little bit of a wait when we got there, which was to be expected as most chain restaurants are busy on Sundays. We were sat about 15 minutes later at a large booth, but my mom asked for a table instead, so we had more elbow room. While we waited, we went to go look at the large aquarium. 
I believe most, if not all, Cheddar's restaurants have one, which is a nice and calming view when you're waiting for your table or seated at the bar. I know most kids love looking at the fish as they have a very colorful collection of fish of all shapes and sizes. There is one fish who kept trying to bite Violet's finger, a bunch of tiny baby fish, and even one that, to me, looked like Dr. Finkelstein from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Eventually, we were seated at a table and it was time to eat. Hey guys, we're back home and we're pretty much done for the night. I just wanted to fill you in on our experience at Cheddar. So we had a good time. We got to see our family. It was me, Violet, my two brothers, my mom, my grandma, and my uncle. Violet ordered the shrimp and chicken with fries and I ordered the Monte Cristo. The food was really good. It was hot and everything, but like, I don't know what was going on with with the fryers or whatever, but so my tea was kind of weird tasting. Like it was like bitter, like maybe it was like the bottom of the the tea canister or whatever. And I got a mango tea, and it wasn't that sweet to be honest. Then I just drank it, whatever. Like I just needed something to wash down my food with. I was really hungry when I got there, and like they came out. Like the food took a little bit long, but not not super long. And like everyone got their main course, and a couple of people got their fries, and. I didn't get any food at all. My brother, whose birthday we were celebrating, didn't get any fries and neither did my uncle. But everybody else got everything else. The guy was telling us that I guess they were like switching the oil on the fryer like in the middle of when we ordered and so that made it take a little bit longer. And which is fine, like I mean he can't help that. But like also too when they served us the drinks, like he brought all of the, the soft drinks and the like non-alcoholic drinks and then he left. And then he came back and brought all of like the beers and stuff and then he left again And then he came back and then he gave us straws so we could finally like drink our beverages. It was really weird I don't know anyway, so yeah, so finally I guess they finished cleaning the fryers and They bring the missing fries. They didn't bring my fries though They brought the missing fries and then they they brought Violet's chicken because they didn't bring the chicken because I guess he misheard the order and then then they brought my food so I was like the last person to get my food and like by the time I was like halfway done everybody else had already finished eating Where are you? <laughs> so yeah, that was a little bit awkward and like the server was polite and everything but it just the, the, the way the food came out was kind of weird and preferably you know you want to eat all your food not only like your whole complete meal because me personally I like to eat my fries first and then whatever the course is but I also want to be able to eat with the people that I'm eating with so they don't have that like weird pause where like they have to like wait for me to finish my food in order to leave like out of politeness I mean obviously it doesn't really matter to me but you know anyway how did you enjoy your food? It was good! What was the favorite part of your meal? Everything. Ah. Yeah Violet really liked your food. She got full though so she didn't finish. Well, anyway I just came in here to share that experience with you and to also end the vlog. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a pretty normal day. So it's like a typical Monday so you kind of get to see my Monday. I start my work week. A lot more of my days occupied by work but it'll still be fun. We'll see what happens and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye!